the first thing we need to get into is do we need to talk about friends in kind of a different sense? Because I feel like the way we've been talking about friends up until this point is as a reciprocal relationship. This is a sort of traditional sense of the word. When people think my friends, they think of people that they like, that they like to be around, maybe that they even admire and respect and whatnot. But as Christians, are we called to show ourselves friendly to a wider group of people than that? Yeah, I think we definitely are. And I think it's a conversation worth having. You know, <clears throat> we spent a lot of time talking about who is my friend in uh, the first episode that was, was about this. But I think uh, we can look at that, as you say, from a little bit different lens than what we were looking before because when Jesus was here I don't think he looked at friendship as a reciprocal reciprocal um, relationship I mean he was God so right what are you going to reciprocate to that right right but I think he, he I think he bottled both cases with his disciples especially his inner circle of his disciples uh, but I think it's worth us looking at and basically asking again the question, who is my friend? Mm -hmm. And I think the story in the Bible that comes to mind when I think of that is the story of the Good Samaritan. And I know that story uh, typically uses the word neighbor, but I think mm -hmm. it, it, mm -hmm. it represent, it's representative of how we can think about people as our friends and how we should interact and care for people. So if, if you got that, it might be worthy of just... Um, read that story again. Yeah, so a man asked Jesus, basically, who is my neighbor? You know, Jesus is talking about loving your neighbor, and we like to split hairs in order to alleviate some burden. And Jesus tells him this parable. A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho, and he fell among robbers who stripped him and beat him and departed, leaving him half dead. Now, by chance, a priest was going down that road, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. So likewise, a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan, as he journeyed, came to where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion. He went to him and bound up his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. Then he set him on his own animal and brought him to an inn and took care of him. And the next day he took out two denarii and gave them to the innkeeper, saying, Take care of him, and whatever more you spend, I will repay you when I come back. Which of these three do you think proved to be a neighbor to the man who fell among the robbers? And the man answered, The one who showed him mercy. And Jesus said to him, You go and do likewise. And that statement there, Who do you think proved to be a neighbor? We could insert the word friend there, you know, who was a friend to the man? Yeah, I think the key thing there is Jesus said, go and do likewise. Right. I mean, that was the direct command to this guy who was seeking eternal life, was to find the people that need help and serve them. And by so doing, uh, you would be a friend to them. And so that's a little bit of a different angle than what we talked about before from a friendship being a uh, uh, reciprocal arrangement, and I think you know if you if you look at it in the in the bigger picture of Christianity, serving others is what we are called to do because mm -hmm. that's what Jesus did. Mm -hmm. You know, Jesus uh, uh, basically he stepped out of heaven, took upon himself the form of mankind, being God. Who you know, he thought it not robbery to be equal with God. Came down and he said he. Uh, took on himself the form of a servant. That's what he did when he was here, was to serve other people. And I believe we could think of those people that he's serving as his friends. We talked about last time he was accused of being a friend of publicans and sinners because often he extended a hand to them. It wasn't an effort ultimately to bring salvation to them. It wasn't the kind of friendship like we talked about a lot in the mm -hmm. previous podcast. Mm -hmm. And so I think we have to we have to examine ourselves and say, am I willing to be a friend 
to those who cannot reciprocate that friendship to me. Right, right. And that just calls to mind this statement in the Sermon on the Mount. For if you love those who love you, what reward do you have? Do not even the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet only your brothers, what more are you doing than others? Do not even the Gentiles do the same? Man, when you talk about the friendship that Jesus showed to humanity, you're immediately confronted with the most challenging view of friendship. It's easy to love and be friends with the people that you like, Mm -hmm. that you admire, that you respect, but to do the same to people who you don't like, who get on your nerves. You don't admire them. You don't respect them. And even more, that maybe your enemy, you know, that may be actively against you in some way. Jesus even loved those people. And even though we think of ourselves as friends of God, at one time we were enemies of God, mm-hmm. right? While we were yet sinners, he died for us. Right. So Jesus didn't wait around until we became likable to make himself a friend to us. So that is a great challenge for us to, you know, go and sit with the unpopular person, you know, go and, and do something nice for uh, the person who gets under your skin. Like this is the Christian way. 